Good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, queens and any kings that are watching. So, of course, today is Saturday. So this is Wealth Builder Saturday. On Saturdays, we do our Wealth Builder sessions. And I just finished meeting with some of you and it was amazing and powerful. And I just love how we can come together and have a dialogue and come up with different strategies and, and just dive into the vision and the plans and purposes that God has for us. And so I'm just excited. I'm just excited about the things of God, man. So we were talking today, and we're going to be in Proverbs. We're talking today about procrastination, and we were talking about um, just being lazy, <laughs> just being lazy. And I, I posted this morning in our private Facebook community, um, first of all, the Wealth Builder hoodie, okay? If anyone would like to order it, um, ask me how, I'll be more than happy to help you with that order. Um, but I posted something under the lines of, you know, laziness will hinder your success. So I want to add to that laziness and procrastination. Many of us are not successful because we are lazy and or procrastinators. Now, I have to say I have been guilty of just being lazy and procrastinating I, for I'm, I'm a lot better now, but I was a major um, procrastinator for so long. You know, I would just put things off and put things off and put things off. And then before I knew it, the day was gone. And then the following day came and then I'm disappointed in myself. And then I was beating myself up because I didn't get X, Y, Z done when actually I was simply just being lazy and just procrastinating, just putting things off. And so if you are a procrastinator, if you have just been lazy and wondering why you're not successful, it's time to be honest today. It's time to examine yourself, amen? And you know, we do something in the ministry called deal to heal. We have to deal with our issues in order to heal from our issues. And so in order for you to heal from that procrastination spirit and that lazy spirit, you have to actually deal with the fact that that's what's actually happening, right? Or not happening. So I'm gonna read Proverbs for you. I, I just love this scripture in Proverbs, Proverbs six. And it's, it's a warning against foolishness, okay? And my grandmother used to love that word foolishness. She used to say, it's just foolishness. It's just foolishness. And so for all of you out there who would love to, love to be successful, who would love to see your life change, but you're not willing to do the work to change it because you're lazy or you're a procrastinator, you just love putting things off. Well, this message is for you. This scripture is for you. And you know how we do here. We meditate on the scripture. We meditate on the scripture um, we hide it in our heart so that we do not sin against God, right? Doesn't mean we're perfect, but it means that we get that word up in us. So when things happen, then we have, we have enough in us that will pour out. Because um, the Bible says that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. And many of you are speaking defeat because you are feeling defeated because you have not done the work. Okay, so we know that faith without work is dead. So it's, it's not enough to just have faith. It's not enough to just trust God. We have to have some corresponding action put on that faith. Faith must be in action, right? So yes, we have faith in God. We trust God, but then we have to do our part. My dad used to always say, I will do all that I can and God will do the rest. So allow God to do his part, yes. But then what about you? You can't just literally sit there and expect, money to drop out of the sky it just doesn't work like that you just can't sit there and expect somebody to just ring your bell ding 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 guess what i have a million dollars for you no it doesn't work like that you have to do something you have to get up each day and be intentional about your every day right there should never be a day that goes by that you're not intentional about you know 
your money, okay? And I'm talking to those of you who are entrepreneurs and those of you who would like to become an entrepreneur when you're putting things off and putting things off and, and just lazy, okay? <laughs> Some of you are just lazy. So this scripture in Proverbs 6, um, the actual scripture that, that we were focused on today, because you know we write the word, was uh, Proverbs 6.6, 6, but for the sake of context, I would like to actually read the entire Proverbs 6 to you, okay? And it says, let me just start out. Okay, it says, my son, if you have put up security for your neighbor, if you have struck hands in pledge with a stranger, if you have been trapped by the words of your lips, ensnared by the words of your mouth, then do this, my son and daughter, to free yourself. For you have fallen into your neighbor's hands. Go humble yourself. Some of you need to be humble, okay? And press your plea with your neighbor. Allow no sleep to your ear or slumber to your eyelids. Free yourself. Some of you need to what? Free yourself. Say, I need to free myself. Free yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the snare of the fowler. And this is where we started today down here in verse six. And I'm just gonna go through it. It says walk, this, this is where it really focuses and makes it plain about being lazy. It says walk in the manner of the ant or slacker. Observe its way its ways and become wise without a commander, without an overseer or ruler, it pre prepares its provision in summer. It gathers its food at harvest. So it's basically describing how the ant lives, right? And so it's telling us that we ought to practice, you know, living our lives similar to the way the ant does. So it prepares its provisions in the summer and gather, gathers its food at harvest. How long will you lie there, oh slacker? Ooh, okay, who am I talking to this morning? How long will you lie there, oh slacker? When will you get up from your sleep? Mm. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folder, I'm sorry, a little folding of hands to rest and poverty will come upon you like a robber and need like a bandit, my God. Verse 12 says, a worthless person, a wicked man walks with a perverse mouth, winking his eyes, speaking with his feet and pointing with his fingers with deceit in his heart he devises evil he continually sows discord therefore calamity will come upon him suddenly okay um remember this is warnings against the foolishness there's a lot of foolishness going on in the world say there's a lot of foolishness going on in in this world and so this proverb is 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 just you know, warning us against foolishness, okay? But we're gonna be focused on laziness today. So let me continue, verse 15, it says, therefore calamity will come upon him suddenly. In an instant, he will be shattered beyond recovery. There are six things, this is verse 16, it says, there are six things that the Lord hates seven that are sustainable to him. Are you ready for these six things? Halt, halty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. Ooh, that one right there. A lot of people have, they have hands that, that are shedding innocent blood. Hands that are shedding innocent blood. 
a heart that de devises wicked schemes, feet that run swiftly to evil, a false witness who gives false testimony. He's just a straight up liar. <laughs> and one who stirs up discord among brothers. Okay, so now with that said, we're going back to our focus scripture here, which is Proverbs 6, 6. And I want to give a, a couple of different, a few different translations, <clears throat> excuse me. The New Living Translation says, take a lesson from the ants. You lazy bones. <laughs> One translation says, you lazy bum. <laughs> Learn from their ways and become wise. The Amplified says, where's my Amplified here? Okay, there's one second. The Amplified says, go to the ant, oh lazy one. <laughs> Observe her ways and be wise. And so it actually gives you the breakdown of the ant and how the ant, you know, like we were reading earlier, you know, it talks about, you know, how the ant actually, they, they do the work, they're smart with it, you know. Um, you know, they actually, uh, let's go back to that. Let's just go back because I, I don't like paraphrasing because if I miss something, then you might miss something. <laughs> if I miss something, then you might miss something. So let's go back to that again, talking about the ant. So we're going to use the ant as an example today. So the next time you feel like being lazy, the next time you feel like procrastinating, think about the ant. Think about the ant. I know every summer we have issues with ants, honey. And then all of a sudden we got to get rid of the ant. It's like, oh my God, here comes the ants. Those ants are united. Hey Amen. They know how to collaborate with other ants. <laughs> okay. They know how to come together to get the job done, right? And so the ant, it prepares its provisions in, in summer. It gathers its food at harvest, right? And so the ants prepare its, they, they prepare its provisions in season and then they reap a harvest. And the reason why many of you have not reaped a harvest is because you have not prepared for your provisions. I've seen, I saw so much of that. We all seen so much of that during the pandemic, people were just not ready and they just did not prepare. I've been doing these Wealth Builders Saturdays, oh my God, for I don't even know how long, almost 10 years. And the one thing I teach is that we should um, be good stewards of our finances, that we should have multiple income streams and that we should, and I don't mean, when I say multiple income streams, don't get me wrong, I don't mean just to be all over the place, just doing this, doing that, things that are just not uh, productive. I mean, have multiple income streams and they should, they should all flow together, you know, like they, because as you do one thing, God begins to bless you and open, open doors for you to do other things, but, but they should kind of have a flow to them, you know, for, for example, I'll give you an example. So when I wrote my first book, I became an author. Out of that book came a radio show. Out of that book came speaking engagements. Out of that book came you know, I started um, doing apparel, my granddaughter and I, well, we were kind of doing a little apparel here and there, but then I started doing apparel, you know, for the conferences. And so I, so I developed multiple income streams, you know, and so, and then, you know, a lot of my ministry is sewing into women who are starting over after trauma, after abuse, you know, after, you know, you know, um, leaving their abuser. And so now, you know, they may not be able to get into a shelter. And so I, God blessed me with a travel um, agency where I can put them up in hotels and it's not that much of a strain for me. So, but see, so I have these multiple income streams, but you see how they all 
you know, correspond with my, they flow with my ministry. They flow with my business tree because my ministry and business is, is really one. So I, I call it my business tree. So I'm not all over the place. Everything has a place. Everything has a purpose. Okay. And everything, you know, is, um, it flows into the things that God has called me to do. Um, and so the ants, they prepare for their provisions. Amen. And then they reap their harvest, right? And so what are you doing to pre prepare for your provisions, right? What are you doing? What are you doing today? Every day we should be doing something to get close, get us closer to the goal, to get us closer to the plans and the purposes that God has for us. And so and if you want to be wealthy, and when I talk about wealthy, wealth, when we talk about that wealthy place, Wealth is so much more than money. Wealth is, to me, when I think about wealth, I think about you know the business, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Tears to Breakthrough Ministries and Queendom Purpose Academy are both about wholeness. It's about us being whole um, financially, spiritually, physically, you know, um, emotionally. And so it all plays a part. And so, you know, um, so every day we should be working towards being whole, right? And, and, and getting our finances in order, being good stewards in our finances, getting our, keeping our bodies, because our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we wanna keep our bodies healthy, we wanna keep our minds healthy. You know, we wanna keep our, we wanna, we wanna have healthy bank accounts, we wanna have healthy minds, and we wanna have healthy, uh, bodies, right? And we want to have healthy relationship and right relationship with God, right? That up close and personal relationship with God. And that's why we're always in the word. That's why we have, we write the word. That's why we're all always writing scriptures and meditating on the scriptures and journaling them out and journaling as we spend time with God in his presence. We're, we're, we're journaling and we're listening from listening uh, to the Holy Spirit and from the Holy Spirit as to what we should be doing even when we're setting goals, right? And so when we're lazy and when we procrastinate, we're wasting time and we're hindering ourselves from becoming successful. So the point that I'm trying to make is, let's use this example of the ants. Let's not be lazy. Let's not be foolish, okay? Say, I, I will not be lazy. I will not be foolish. I will not procrastinate. Let's not, if you don't get anything else out of what I said today, get this. No longer do I want you to be lazy, procrastinating, and foolish, <laughs> okay? Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy bones, or you lazy bum. Learn from their ways and become wise ants are so military like you know they're always if you ever see them they're like in a line a straight line they kind of you know they collaborate together to get their food they make to make things happen um and, and while they're a total pest for us i just kind of like the way they they move you know they move with purpose they move it with collaboration and they move as a team. They understand that teamwork makes the dream work. Some of you are not successful because you don't know how to collaborate with others. You don't know how to work with others. Okay, you don't know how to work if, work as a team. You know, you're you're you got that controlling spirit, and so you're always trying to control everything. You know, and so we got to get better. We got to get better, not bitter, but better. Not bitter, but better. So some of you have been, you know, you you may have had a collaboration. You may have had certain people in your life that you try to connect with but they let you down or they, they might have taken advantage of you but we're not going to get bitter about it we're going to get better about it say i'm not going to get bitter about it i'm going to get better about it and so some of you for some of you that's where you you the you, you have come with all these excuses and that's why you procrastinate because you're afraid of success some of you are afraid of success. Some of you are, are afraid to be hurt. Again, those of you who were, were hurt in the past. And, and ladies, I want you to stop saying things like, I don't, I don't mess with women. I don't, I don't, I, I do better. I have better friendships with men. I don't have any women friends. We have to come together 
as women. You know, there's something that's so powerful about women when they come together and collaborate and strategize and there's no jealousy. We had that uh, uh, collaboration over competition. One of, one, one of the non, nonprofits that I'm affiliated with, that's one of the reasons why I'm connected with that nonprofit collaboration over competition because I love how the ladies use all of their gifts and all of their talents and they can come together and they can collaborate and nobody's jealous of the other. Nobody's trying to backstab the other. Nobody's, you know, everybody's pulling their weight. Nobody's sitting around lazy, you know. Um, and so all of that matters if you want to be successful. Even if you don't want to become an entrepreneur, but you want to further your career, go back to school and, and, and level up even on your job. You might have been on that job for a long time and now you want to level up. You want, you want to be promoted, but you have to put in the work. You have to learn the craft, the skill set. You know, you have to be willing and open to learning more, uh, leveling up, not sitting around making excuses, being lazy, and procrastinating. Listen, learn a lesson from the ant. <laughs> Amen. From the ant. The ant got something to say. <laughs> Amen. So I pray that this has blessed you. I am Pastor Carolyn, your pastor and purpose pusher of Tears to Break Through Ministries and Conference and the founder and owner of Queen of Purpose Academy and Lounge. We are queens and kings in the kingdom of God. And so therefore we move differently in this world. We understand that our citizenship is in heaven. We understand that we're in this world, but we are not of this world. So we are not moved by this world system. And so when they start talking about the, the economy is bad and the, the gas is too high and the food is too high. Yes, those are things that we are concerned about, but we're not going to be having that, developing that defeated mindset because we're doing right with our finances. We are good stewards of our finances. We understand that we have multiple, developed those multiple income streams. And how do we do that? By tapping into our skills and, and, and ability that God, our God given skills and ability. God has given us gifts and talents. Right. And so that's what the Wealth Builder Guide, if you want to order my Wealth Builder Guide, um, you can also get the bundle that includes the Wealth Builder T-shirt, where you have the choice of the Wealth Builder T-shirt or the Walk in Wealthy Places T-shirt. And then you get the Wealth Builder Guide and then the, the financial um, checkup. So uh, all of these things are available to you. Go to the apps, to, to break the Breakthrough app. <laughs> OK. And you will begin to see what courses are available, um, what resources are available to help you get better, you know, to change your life. You know, um, listen, I love it when a woman come to me and, and, and she's been mentored by me, uh, ministered to by me and the ministry and other ladies. And just she, she gets it. It clicks. She has re revelation. She's willing to put in the work because you have to be willing to put in the work. And then she, her life has totally changed for the better. I hear these testimonies all the time. And so that takes me to us coming together and having that accountability factor. The, the accountability is everything and, and getting that, the, that destiny partner. So in this ministry and in the uh, Queen of Purpose Academy, we have destiny partners, people that we partner up with that hold us accountable. You know, so if you want that in your life, then you need to join us. Start by getting on the um, Breakthrough app. I'll have the link in the comment section with the QR code. And yeah, and start there and um, just check out the ministry, check out the business tree and see what's happening so that you can become the best you that God has created you to be. Say, I want to be the best me that God has created me to be. I want to be all that God has created me to be. And yeah, you might have had some setbacks. You might have gone through a divorce. You might have had some financial issues. You may have had, you know, some losses, you know, but there is life after. There's life after trauma. There's life after drama. There's life after abuse. There's life after misuse. There's life after divorce. There is life after. It is life after you being on a job for 20, 30 years and losing that job and trying, and now you're wondering what, what's next. Listen, there is life after. And so we are here for you. We are breaking through together. 
Um, I pray that this has helped you. I just want to leave you with the third John blessing. I speak that third John blessing over everyone under the sound of my voice. I pray above all things that you will prosper, be in health, even as your soul prosper. I pray that you will no longer procrastinate. You will no longer be lazy, but you will use the ant as the example. Amen. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. I will see you next time. You have a blessed and marvelous day. God bless.